Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are dealing with another problem of inverse trigonometry from miscellaneous exercise. Okay, now this type of question is very easy to solve only if you know the concept or the process of solving the these problems. Okay, now my question is here tan inverse of 1 over 5 plus tan inverse of 1 over 7 plus tan inverse of 1 over 3 plus tan inverse of 1 over 8 is equal to pi by 4. Now, the one of the easiest way to solve this method is grouping the given four terms. Here, the number of terms given 1, 2, 3, 4 are in even number. The number of term is in even number. So, what you can do is group them. You can group this two term and group this two term. Now, after grouping, our first process or the step is to group them. I have grouped the number 1 and second term in one group tan inverse of 1 over 5 plus tan inverse of 1 over 7 plus and the second group is from the third from the term third and fourth tan inverse of 1 over 3 plus tan inverse of 1 over 8 now second process here we know if you remember the tan inverse of x plus y x plus tan inverse of y formula with that formula we can solve this first group now solving with that formula tan inverse of 1 by 5 1 plus 1 by 7 over 1 minus x into y here x is 1 by 5 into 1 by 7 be careful while using the brackets you can see here i have used big bracket and a small bracket inside big bracket should be in the outside now the second group on with the help of the formula we can convert this group into this i am not showing you the numbers or what we solved why because the process is what important and that's what i am solving i am showing today Okay, the process is taking LCMs and all is quite easy and I hope you guys can take. And now this group term can be still simplified into this process, this step. The tan inverse of 7 plus 5 over 35 minus 1 plus tan inverse of 8 plus 3 over 24 minus 1. Okay, now you can see that 4 terms are reduced to 2 terms and still we have two terms and this two term again using the same formula tan inverse of x plus tan inverse of y we can reduce to single term and that single term will be our answer that answer is nothing but our rhs pi by 4 okay now this is on simplifying we will get this step tan inverse of 12 by 34 plus tan inverse of 11 by 23 this is further simplified here 12 by 34 is further simplified to 6 by 17 tan inverse of 11 by 23 Okay, we'll move on to the next page. Now, here is our problem. Tan inverse of, you recognize the two groups. Now, the two groups are again combined into one group with the formula tan inverse of x plus tan inverse of y. With that formula, we have tan inverse of x, our 6 by 17 plus tan inverse of, sorry, plus y that is 7 by 23 over 1 minus x into y be careful with brackets okay you have to apply a big bracket to be most appropriate or else you can do with this but the only thing is you should not confuse with the signs here there is a negative sign which is applied to both the terms if you are not applying this bracket then that will make you confused especially while solving the numbers which has many steps or with uh, the number of the problem which has complicated process okay now tan inverse of on solving this take lcm of the numerator and lcm of the denominator we will get this term now again solving with tan inverse of simplifying this will give you 325 by 325 that's same number cancel each other tan inverse of 1 that's going to give you pi by 4 you know tan inverse of 1 is pi by 4 we got our rhs now the important thing what you need to do or what you need to know is list on all the formulas as i said in every video list on all the formula what you can do in your competitive exams or in your CET, JE. the thing is you should recognize the given question in terms of formula which formula i can apply for the given question so that the process will be easy everyone know how to take lcm everyone know how to divide how to add how to subtract but the thing is recognition of the which formula should I apply for this question? So, in this terms, what in this question, what you need to remember is the 
standard table of trigonometry values here you know tan inverse of 1 is pi by 4 if you stop here you won't prove that rhs is obtained but you need to know that tan inverse of 1 is pi by 4 so you need to remember the standard angles and standard angle values for all the six uh, trigonometric ratios next you need to recognize the required formula for the each question or given question okay thank you now we will proceed for the next problem in the in our next video thank you